member of the patent bar, but need not be uh, an attorney, need not be a member of a you know, state uh, bar as an attorney. Uh, and the person who's representing the either the inventor or the applicant or, or both, um, what bars do they typically have to be a member of? So, so basically, you have to be a patent agent at least mm -hmm. um, uh, if you are if, if you're going to um, represent somebody before the USPTO. You do not have to be a patent attorney. Okay. In other words, you don't have to be a member of any state bar. You can just okay. be a patent agent. Examiners, when they which start, means you take the patent bar, just to which clarify. means you take the patent bar, and pass it, yeah, and, and, and that's all you need. That's even okay. today, that's all you need. Mm -hmm. um, examiners, when they start out, very often don't even have, have not even passed the agency exam. Usually, the fresh examiners um, they basically sort of on the job training. Mm -hmm. uh, and, then, and then some of them may take the agent's exam, some of them, they spend a long period of time and uh, uh, so on and so forth. So, so it's not an absolute requirement. Uh, but they're being supervised, of course, by somebody who is a member of the, of yeah. the patent bar. Right? Yeah. Yes, okay. and they, are, yeah, they are being supervised. And, and then there is, uh, uh, many of them typically after a short period of time, um, um, they do take the patent bar because uh, the examining court does tend to be um, a, a little bit of a revolving door. It's a, it's a very good experience. So people do go there for a few years. It doesn't mean people don't stay there for, for their whole careers. They're actually among some of the best paid people in the, yeah. entire, in, in the entire federal government. Uh, yeah. so, so you will meet examiners who have been there 20 years and uh, you know, wonder, wonderful careers, uh, you know, very satisfied uh, move, moving up the government scales. Uh, but, but a lot of times people will be there for two, three, four years and mm -hmm. then they will move to the private sector. So, so they take the patent bar and move to the private sector. The private well, sector, they might even go to law school or they might uh, have their own uh, representing clients as a patent uh, agent. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, they might choose to be on the outside uh, and once they've uh, um, you know, finished their um, period um, where they basically uh, you know, can't do anything uh, for, for a period of time having coming out of the government, uh, then they might very well do that. Um, and um, many of them indeed um, do go to uh, law school um, in the evening as well, or mm -hmm. sometimes uh, go to law school full time. Full time, you know? yeah. Yeah. 